here's a quick peek inside my tower uh, and you can see um, power supply of course up top huge huge fan in the back um, for better airflow and what you see on the bottom here that's the 120 gig uh, solid state drive that's where the OS lives and here is my uh, terabyte drive which is basically for storage which is awesome because then if the computer goes down for any reason that should be isolated enough that my data will be safe if I save things to it regularly I should be good this here right there is the graphics card and it has uh, two gigs worth of RAM dedicated to it so um, this thing is amazing <laughs> I have played with this for ooh, a week now, I guess, and um, I am just floored still with the speed this thing has and the, uh, the abilities of what I can do with it. Um, now in this tower case, I do have uh, two empty bays for... Um, like other hard drives or or I can buy an optical drive and put it in myself even though it didn't come with one I have the ability to put it in so um, it has lots of growth potential for me so uh, anyway um, the side is a quick clip system just like that and you stretch it over and it clips in the back so um, I will put it back together and I'll be right back and I'm back um, I've got the camera in my hand now so please uh, forgive the shakiness <laughs> but I wanted to show you around my desk as well in this video now um, because the fan is in the back and there's a big grill on the side I tend to keep the computer over a little bit in the cubby and the uh, the uh, desk has a big hole at the back so the airflow is maximized here which should prevent overheating of the unit um, this desk is built really sturdy it's a solid desk my husband helped put it together majorly thank you thank you thank you Kev for helping me put this together it really does it says on the instructions it's a two-person job and it was um, there was very little in the way of instructions other than um, looking at the picture and seeing okay that piece has three holes across the top and you know they weren't labeled as they usually aren't but we got it together this disc does have a shelf and uh, my tower is tall enough that I can't use the shelf the the uh, shelf rests are here and my tower takes up all of that space so what I did with the shelf was I added it um, I just let it sit on the bottom of the cubby hole there so it's going to doubly insulate my tower against the heated floor which is what I wanted uh, this desk also features a drawer and it's wonderful look at the depth of that thing um, I can I can store a lot of books and paperwork and stuff in there I have 
a uh, caddy for my pens. Kind of went with the black wire look to complete the theme of black. Um, I have a lamp that I found at Value Village for four dollars. Can't beat that. Works fine. <laughs> um, my speakers uh, rest on either side of my screen at the top here on the hutch. Uh, there is plenty of desk space to make notes, etc. Um, let's see. There is a keyboard shelf where my keyboard sits. Now I have the option to put the mouse beside it here, but I find that too low for me. So I, I leave that to the keyboard and I put my mouse on the top of the desk. It's just handier for me. I mean, totally a personal thing. Um, my husband uh, generously donated to me his Snowball Blue mic, which uh, you will hear me using when I do the um, computer walkthrough part of this video. Uh, that uh, is so much better uh, for voice than uh, even one of those headset type things. Now, what I wanted to show you, well, I've got the camera. Okay, that means the monitor's on. And it boots up. Let me close these curtains. That'll help. Okay. Now, it checks off, goes through a, a boot up HDMI, VGA, no signal. Watch how fast this computer boots. I am totally impressed. My other one, I waited forever. Okay, here we go. Press the button, blue. It's on. There. That's the motherboard checking in. Signing me into my account, and boom, we're at desktop level. That was seconds long. <laughs> um, my other computer, I hit the button to start it up, and it, please wait, please wait, please wait, and I waited a long time. This one, boom, and it's up. Same with the shutdown. It does the same thing. It just shuts down in no time at all, and... Uh, what you'll see on the outside here is uh, this bar here is a Nexus dock. And I kind of like this over a taskbar because you can scroll over them and they magnify, they label. It's very easy to pick something out. Um, and it has, that's a, a CPU meter, and that's the uh, RAM. So, it will tell me what is taking my RAM, what's the, what's the current RAM hog, um, and so on. We'll see. Anyway, okay. So, um, anyway, in all, I am very, very pleased with this desk. It is uh, solid, as I said. It, it doesn't shake around. It doesn't move. <laughs> and it is like 81 pounds. So, you know you've got a desk there. <laughs> um, the hutch is really handy because, yes, it can hold my speakers and my pens. It kind of elevates my light so that it's better um, angle for my desk. Uh, this is the Nextech uh, CD DVD optical drive that um, 
plugs in. It plugs in with two USBs for power. And uh, that's how I loaded the uh, Microsoft Work Suite 2006 that I got with this. Um, okay. And, ah, there we go. Come on, focus. There we go. There's the labeling on the front, AMD. And it's an MDG system. The blue light shows that it's on. That is very easy to see. And this flashing light down here underneath is the uh, hard drive when it's triggered. When it's doing stuff, it will flicker like that. Okay. Stay tuned, and I'll give you a walkthrough of the computer itself.